Stores reopening and folks out with their masks on. <laughs> Let's talk about the weather. Um, boy, you can feel a change in the air. Ben Derry looking at the forecast for us. Hi, Ben. Hi, Joyce. Hi, Greg. Yeah, it's been uh, kind of a gloomier day today. Uh, not necessarily complete overcast. We know some parts of the South Sound as well as areas through the Strait have seen at least a little bit of sunshine, but boy, temperatures have felt noticeably cooler. Let's take a look at where we're at right now. Most of us only reach into the mid 60s for highs. You can see places like Hoquiam and Forks still in the upper 50s at this hour, about 5 to 10 degrees cooler than what we saw yesterday. Here's a time lapse zoom from Shorecrest High School in Shoreline. Earlier today, we did see some uh, reports of heavy drizzle. I haven't heard that in a while. And you can still see some of those light showers are passing through uh, parts of Northern King and Southern Snohomish County at this hour. They're very splotchy and they are extremely light. You can see on radar showing up through uh, Linwood, the Ed uh, Edmonds area. You can see along Highway 2 just west of Monroe seeing some light shower action as well. It's pretty much the only game in town. Most of the showers have been rather hit and miss. It has still been on the breezy side. You can see wind speeds anywhere between 10 and 20 miles per hour. Shelton's showing the strongest sustained wind at 20 miles per hour. This is that onshore breeze, that marine layer that will be with us over the next couple of days, keeping our temperatures on the cooler side. Notice eastern Washington, Ellensburg with a sustained wind just under 30 miles per hour. Uh, the Kitt uh, Kittitas Valley still under a wind advisory until 10 o'clock tonight, possibly seeing wind gusts up to 50 miles per hour. We've certainly seen some strong wind out there. Backing things up with our radar satellite composite, you could see some lightning just north of Spokane in the Northeast Mountains. That's heading away from us, but over the next couple of days, our weather will be affected by this guy right here, this low pressure system, which is going to be churning over British Columbia the next couple of days, spinning a couple of weaker disturbances our direction. It's basically a blob of cooler air in the mid levels of the atmosphere. It will continue to provide us with cloud cover, temperatures a little bit cooler than average, and maybe a few showers from time to time, especially during the morning hours. But watch as we head into Friday and Saturday, this low retrogrades a little bit. It moves subtly from east to west. This is good news for us because that means over the weekend, we are expecting more sunshine. So here's your 4th of July weekend forecast. Saturday calling for a mostly sunny sky, mid-70s for highs. Temperatures at night likely dropping into the mid to upper 50s. Then on Sunday, morning clouds and temperatures rising into the lower 70s. So they'll be the first time in about uh, six weeks or so that we've seen a completely dry weekend. That's still just a forecast, by the way. It's still only Tuesday. Tomorrow's going to be very similar to today. Mostly cloudy and a few spotty showers with temperatures staying in the 60s. Similar case on Thursday with maybe a couple more hours of sunshine later in the day. A clearing as we head into Friday. That's when temperatures warm up and a mostly sunny day on Saturday, the 4th of July, should get temperatures back up into at least the mid-70s. So again, a little cloudy over the next couple of days, but no widespread rain in the forecast, and we're still calling for dry conditions this upcoming weekend.